All right, guys, today we have decided that we're going to be taking off of the Grand Cherokee the calipers that caliper covers that I have been running for a while, not just on the Ch Grand Cherokee, but on a bunch of previous cars as well. Um, very sturdy, very reliable caliper cover, no issues, no questions. But considering some questionable, you know, look here of the the fake screws and things like that occasionally. I sometimes wonder if there's anything else out there available. So what we found uh, on through Instagram and through what seems to be a pretty large following is CCI Auto fully customizable type of caliper cover. Uh, depending on who you talk to out there, there's of course two different schools of thought on whether something as solid and uh, established as MGP uh, would stand up uh, against uh, you know, a relatively newer player on the block, so to speak. Uh, the two are definitely completely different in terms of construction. And check out the CCI's uh, site for various options. But why did we decide to do it? Well, frankly, I mean, this is a stormtrooper, as I call it, Grand Cherokee. I, mean, I know I'm not the first one to uh, call it that. The altitude, black on white on black package. And uh, a couple of guys are running these white covers. Um, on theirs looks pretty awesome especially through a black wheel so for that nice contrast for the summer I thought it would be a really neat effort to attempt to try these cost wise um, these are a bit cheaper than the MGPs and these are also more customizable MGP comes with preset number of brand names um, that have already been engraved into the uh, cover with CCI, creativity is limitless. Uh, they will do probably just about anything that you want them to slap on these covers. Uh, when it comes to construction though, this is where you start having some debate out there on what's better, what's more solid, what's more reliable, blah, blah, blah. So obviously I don't really directly have experience yet with CCI setup, but let's look at MGP. For those of you who are not familiar with this, or if you are, certainly you already know this. These things are advertised as being made out of aerospace aluminum, but I think everybody says that uh, unless you are uh, Musk and you're planning to launch your Tesla into space. I don't really think anybody gives a crap what space or earth aluminum material things are made of. Uh, it's just more of a marketing bit. But these are solid. I mean, these things are, they feel like they could be plowed over by a tank and survive potentially a direct bomb hit. I realize I'm exaggerating here a bit. But still, these things have the weight and the feel of a cover that will probably last for the life of the car so long as you're taking care of it. Uh, also, mounting. The way these are mounted has specialized clips uh, that have to pop in between the caliper and uh, the rotor, and then that clip that ends up holding the caliper with some pretty decent strength screws, small ones, but still very, very 
reliable, rust proof, uh, there to stay. Um, and obviously the same kind of, same deal is repeated at the bottom with these guys. So again, no issues, no complaints with um, MGP other than wanted to give a shot to something with a little bit more creativity uh, and just kind of see how, how that pans out. Certainly every manufacturer of these things uh, claims a variety of items just like on these guys website. Supposedly um, these also help cool the brake caliper uh, and they even have that guy that shows a video of measuring after running a 300 Chrysler I think uh, hard the temperature with the caliper cover and without. I am no scientist, but I do have to call BS out on that test just a little bit because when he's measuring temperature, he's measuring the temperature of the caliper cover. What he should be measuring the temperature of is the actual caliper and maybe even the rotor underneath. Otherwise, all he's doing is taking a temperature of an additional piece that's just sitting there. So as far as cooling, I don't know. Not too sure that that's a legitimate claim uh, from MGP. What I can say though is their claim to reduce brake dust does seem to hold up. And I certainly do have a lot less uh, brake dust clearing that I have to worry about when I have these on. Don't know what that's going to look like uh, with CCI, but I guess we'll see. Doesn't that's the only way to find out. So what we got with CCI construction, and this is where some folks get a bit weary, I think, but I don't see a reason for any concern just yet. So these guys have a couple of um, kind of package options. You have this one, which looks like it has three pistons. Um, and they call it, I think, the Pro Series. And then there is a more base one that doesn't have these like three piston looking deals underneath it and looks a little, it's a bit smaller in size, but certainly still delivers the customization. They also appear to be created out of uh, one general piece of aluminum underneath with this overlay of another aluminum piece welded, I possibly and as well as some additional aluminum pieces welded in in between the two layers. So certainly if I were to argue the same case of caliper cool uh, that supposedly takes place, then this having some air pockets and more aluminum uh, pieces, you could argue creates better heat dispersion. But again, I think that entire claim is BS regardless of who you listen to. So let's face it, more, more likely than not, most of us are getting these probably for appearance sake. Now where some people seem to get nervous with these things is, well, there are really two parts. One is when you hold this, the CCI, it is very light, very light. Not that that's necessarily a problem, but just again, being used to the MGP tank, so to speak, it just sometimes it's maybe feeling a little bit uneasy. It just seems like kind of light. And then these pieces flex. They are they are flexible. I mean, I'm not going to try to flex the middle part because I don't want to mess mess up something up. But um, these pockets here, uh, these wings at the top, they seem to be definitely on the flexible side. Again, not necessarily an issue, especially considering the method of mounting. So what's interesting about that is that CCI decided to attempt an approach of magnetic attachment. And uh, we'll on their website, plus in pictures and other folks who made videos, there are some descriptions you could see, but instead of using bolts that tie into a clip that is a major pain to take off if you ever needed to, um, these guys said, you know what, forget all that bolting on. What we're going to do is just rely on the nature of metal and we're going to use super strength small magnets to attach the cover to the caliper underneath. So it seems like an interesting idea. Again, it's, I think some people get nervous because they like the thought that something is bolted on to death and is just not going anywhere. And with magnets, it's just 
the strength of the magnet is all that's at stake and that these things might fly off. But again, based on some feedback from some folks I talked to, um, either you use CCI's magnets, uh, especially if you want to make sure that your warranty applies, or you can go out there and even upgrade to super strength magnet and uh, try it on that way. And based on all the feedback, that has not been an issue. So what we're going to do is we're going to see what this thing looks like once we've taken off the caliper from MGP, I'm sorry, the caliper cover from MGP and put on this CCI customized Stormtrooper caliper cover, see what happens. And another look at the mounting differences. So here's your MGP with one solid piece and your caliper or, or um, yeah caliper clips that then the caliper cover fastens onto with the sets of bolts and then here's your CCI with magnets through the 3M double sided ultra strength adhesive um, with a stack of course of others and then I believe they also started to provide, for those who have any doubts or want additional backup, these bigger and even stronger magnets for extra hold and grip. Plus there's uh, some sandpaper as well to help uh, clean off the surface thoroughly enough of the caliper if needed, although we're going to be using uh, brake cleaner and that should be good enough. So the finished product, so to speak, certainly made a lot more sense based on how these things are mounted for why, if you guys remember, I was talking about these little wings here kind of being flexible. Well, considering that there's a, you can mount on top of the brake caliper using <clears throat> what we decided to be the extra strength magnet. Not again, not a scientist, but the aluminum is non-magnetic so the super strength magnets are actually functioning as anchors against the metal of the caliper but with the cover being aluminum what you're actually also heavily relying on is the 3m extra strength molding adhesive or um, double-sided uh, tape so it's double-sided tape on both sides of the magnet to prevent or to reduce vibration but also to just uh, reduce the chances of the magnet sliding around, which it will not, especially the extra strength magnets that are included. But the 3M is what's ultimately going on top of the magnet, between the magnet and the aluminum cover. So I have them on the top, one, one on the bottom, and then one here, and one here. <clears throat> the way that at least on the uh, V6 Grand Cherokee, the non-Brembo package, um, the caliper is configured. The middle part actually is a little bit deeper than the outer parts. So to reduce the tension and stress on the surface here, I just have them mounted this way. So um, to be determined, all around, not a, not a bad look. Um, I certainly like it. Certainly does stand out, especially if you're on the highway when this thing turns the wheel turns it's sure to uh, have people looking because through the spokes you'll be able to see the entire word stormtrooper against the black and white so to be determined it should be interesting so one other thing I have to point out too as far as again I have no problem with CCI I think again the fact that it's customizable and so many options are available is awesome but if you consider aerodynamically, CCI versus um, MGP, then MGP over here, MGP is a single aluminum piece that, let's just say, terminates just like this does. But with CCI, they have this sort of 3D effect of it wrapping around the entire caliper so what you end up with is again depending on how you look at aerodynamics is almost this like parachute air, air catch-all right here 
um, depending at the speed you're coming in at, right? So the air is rushing in here and is catching inside of this pocket. Now they've addressed that through the venting system, but it doesn't change the fact still that there is this sort of catch-all effect. Now again, this as far as Grand Cherokees go, this is a V6, so the caliper, or I'm sorry, the um, Baroder size is uh, 330, as opposed to all of you with SRT Plus, you got 350, but even that, that is not big enough, that bigger rotor is still not going to be big enough to wrap to to go all the way up to the top of this thing so um with the larger option of cci you still i believe and i could be wrong but you still end up with i would imagine with a number of cars with sort of again this sort of air pocket it would be interesting to see how it reacts to higher speeds and how well it vents the air and directs it as opposed to say MGP, which does not have this back part at all, and it's just a single sheet that would terminate right here, just splitting the air without this catch. So anyway, hopefully that makes sense, but that's just one of the things I thought of as another potential uh, differentiator.